I would like to say in English about the same uh, holiday or feast day, the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the temple. Or there is another name, the entrance court. It's the same. There is an old proverb, Paslovica, from God's book, which says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, in a cold, he will not depart from it. This is really true. I would like to repeat it again for all of us. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Church uh, tradition tells us that uh, when uh, Holy Virgin Mary was um, only three years old, Joachim and Anna, her parents, uh, decided to present her to the Lord. So they came to Jerusalem, they were, they were fasting there, praying by the church uh, for the whole week. And then, at the end of the week, they brought her to the church and presented her to the church. As they came to the, to, to, to the church, the house of God, priest came and stood before the altar waiting for her. The high priest Zacharias, his name was Zacharia. He took the child, which is Mary, and performed the ceremony of presentation. So what did she do in the temple? This must have been a school, school in which dedicated children were nurtured to maturity by the scholars and teachers of the temple. Mary prayed, she read the sacred scriptures, and she learned to sew materials for use in the service of God. So, what are we to learn from this tradition of the church today, dear brothers and sisters, from this holiday, feast day? Why do we celebrate this event year by year in the church calendar of feasts? Surely it is to teach us that the early training given a child will last a lifetime the church and home must join hands together in providing true Christian upbringing for children. A couple of generations ago, the home was a very effective medium for the Christian training of the child. Unfortunately, Time have changed and home and family have lost their effect effectiveness in uh, Christian education. <clears throat> However, for better or worse, the home is still the most important single factor in the upbringing of uh, our children, youngsters. So the home is truly a school and the parents are the teachers. If religion is vital to parents, important. If religion is vital to parents, it will become vital 
to the children too. When parents keep God's day holy, when they go to church for the liturgy every Sunday, when they pray morning and night, when they pray at meals, when they are honest, when they talk Christian language in, in the home, when they discipline themselves, interesting, we like to discipline somebody, but it says, when they discipline themselves in what they eat, drink, read, see on TV, computers, then their children are bound to become profoundly influenced for good in this spiritual environment. Environment. Sreda. Oči invažne, da ljudi vrati so. Sreda. Environment. Hočeš, da bi vjenak naučil sa govoriti? Pa anglijski. Nadeva atvesti v tu stranu in tam pa mestiti. Bistro naučiti. То же самое и здесь. Нужно создавать атмосферу, среду, окружение. Beside the home, the church is a school for the Christian, nurturing our children. The proper function of a church is to make people live as Christians, to bring about uh, the kingdom of God, a kingdom of love and peace on this earth and in the next. So, the trinity of church, home and church school, church school can unite in providing abedinitsa, in providing true Christian training for children. Joachim and Anna provided such an environment uh, for the child Mary. She grew up to become full of grace. How we sing in the church. Full of grace. She who was brought to the temple of God herself become a temple of the Lord. Our children are no less gifts of God than was Mary to her parents. May the Lord help us to so raise them, our children, that one day we can stand before Him, God, and say with the words of the scriptures, here am I and the children God has given me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for your attention.